What is going on guys and girls, my name is Van Gilf and today we've got for you a Turkish squad builder. It's a little bit different, as you know yesterday I did the Peru squad builder and that's got around about 150 likes right now so I decided to look in the comments and you know see what you wanted and a lot of you, well a couple of you were asking for Turkey as a nation because you said you've got loads of gold players in it and I do agree with you there's absolutely loads. It looks like a very solid team to be honest with you. Galatasaray this year is the only team in the Turkish league for some reason you know I'm not 100% sure, someone knows, let me know, but yeah, we, I'm just going to start by talking about this goalkeeper, look at this, what the fuck, how is he letting that in, I mean, he was very hit and miss, one time he'd be really good, then the next he would be absolutely shocking, and for that reason I would advise you don't ever use him, ever, just use somebody else that's in the Turkish league, because he would fit up with, uh, he'd get the strong link from this guy, which is Kaya, and I'm going to say he is such a good defender, these two centre-backs were very, very good, and they're probably the best part of this defence, the left-back and right-back were kind of average, but Kaya, very, very good, long leggy legs, as I always say, that he can use those to get into tackles along the ground, he's really good at side tackling, top rack seemed very, very good as well, he's got 77 pace, so he's nice and quick, as you can see here, again, he's good at sliding in he's also pretty decent in the air I didn't get a goal with him but I got this and you know before the patch that might have actually gone in he's good at standing tackling as well one good thing about Kaya I'm going to mention is he's got low attacking high defensive work rate so you don't get caught out too much with him that kind of makes up for his pace this guy is very pacey he's got no lack of pace whatsoever but I didn't I didn't get many assists with him I don't think I got any in fact because I really needed to get clips with the right midfielder and I struggled to get him with him and you're going to probably see why in a moment when we do actually talk about him but overall this right back was pretty decent I'm going to guess that you can buy him for like less than 700 coins because of the awkward league slash nationality of him left back we decided to go for this guy I think he's one of the highest rated Turkish left backs on the game if not the highest I tried to make sure I got the highest rated players because you know, it's such a, like, it's an underused nation in general, Turkey, so I wanted to try and get the best of them into one squad builder. Hence why we've gone for Nuri Sahin, centre defensive mid. One of the gems of this team, such a good little centre defensive mid. He always seemed to be in the right place at the right time for interceptions, tackles. He's really good at passing the ball as well. Through balls over the top to the strikers or to the wingers. He's really good on the ball as well. He's just calm and composed in that centre defensive mid role, that little pocket of space he just kind of controls it, we've got this guy on our left hand side to run last year he was a midfielder a central midfielder, this year they've moved him over to the left hand side, I don't know where he plays in real life, can't say I watched that league an awful lot, it's uh, Atletico Madrid I believe but when I got him into the centre of the park, like this here, he did cause trouble. He's really good at dribbling it, and he's, he's got a really, really good shot on him, to be honest with you. His long shots seem pretty decent. On another day, I may have scored a couple with him, but defensively, he's not too bad as well. The only thing that really annoys me about him is his high, high work rates, because he's always too far down the pitch. We've got Altin top on the right-hand side, and I swear to God this guy has been playing football for as long as I remember. There's him, and then there's his brother as well, who's a striker. He's not in this squad, though, unfortunately, but... Alton Top seemed pretty decent, despite his lack of pace, he was pretty good on the ball and he had a decent long shot as well, he's actually got the long shot trait this year, apparently last year he didn't have it, I noticed a couple of people saying that on Foothead and Footwiz uh, that finally justified him that. We've got Ainan, centre attacking mid, I don't know if that's how you say it, I don't know if there's an accent on it, but I'm going to call him Ainan anyway and... He's really good on the ball. He's like Churan, but it looks a little bit tall to me. He's like Churan. He's very good on the ball. He's got a brilliant long shot. I mean, really good at dribbling. Him and Turan at centre attacking mid. Imagine that. That would be so insane. Unfortunately, Turan is a left mid. But if that was the case, Turan would definitely be centre attacking mid with him. It's just a shame that he's left mid. It'd make for such a better team, I think. Anyway, we've got Yilmaz up front. I used him last year, and I have to say, I didn't enjoy him this year. Uh, last year, this year, I enjoy him much more. Look at that for a finish, guys. Absolutely beautiful. He's so big and strong and fast. He's literally, physically, the perfect kind of striker that I like because he's really good at winning headers, and he can just run through defenders like this. Countless, countless times, I was running out of defence, and I thought, oh, no, I've lost the ball. But as the defender came towards him, he kind of, like, just shoved them out of the way. He's like a brick shit house. he's just fucking so hench, it's unreal, he just like barges people off the ball, we've got this guy, and I have to say, I'm not sure how you say his name, Buller, I'm gonna, just going to call it that, but he, he's got such a good finish on him, for, for a 76 rated player, he's actually so, so good, he's got a great little finish, he's pretty decent at dribbling, I didn't win many headers with him though, that's the only problem, this team, I would probably give it a 7 out of 10, it wasn't my most favourite team, um, 
but for the price I can't really complain it's a pretty cheap team the most expensive player is a center defensive mid at 3000 coins if you have enjoyed this video guys please remember to leave a like comment and as always subscribe and leave a comment saying what nation I should do next I've had a lot for Scotland I've had a few for Greece as well just leave a comment and I'll see what I can do and I'll see which the most common comment will be so yeah cheers guys what is going on guys, just me again, as you can see in front of you you've got two videos now, on the left hand side is my Peru squad builder and on the right hand side is my Mario Mandzukic player review, both uploaded yesterday and both did very well, if you have missed them feel free to go back, give them a watch and a like and a comment, I would really appreciate it, I really appreciate every single comment I get recently because they've been so supportive, anyway guys thank you.